Hello, everyone, and welcome to the High Stakes Fantasy Network. I'm your host, Greg Ambrosius, and I'm joined by Professor Derek Butcher. I call him Professor Derek Butcher again because he's going to give us a lesson on how to save a lot of time this NFFC season. Derek, we have this new feature called Happy Bids List that we introduced in baseball. Our baseball guys just love it. If you do multiple teams, this is going to save you a lot of time. Might even get you to take another team or two and make you more money. This is a beauty that our IT developed, right? It is. Uh, and it took almost 18 months to do it. I just couldn't figure out the backside. Once we finally got it, yes, it, it's it's. I love it not only because, it, yes, it can give you to do more teams. And, of course, we'd love you <laughs> love to take more teams. But uh, it, it's just going to give you so much time back to do with the other things you love to do in life. I mean, some people love fab. Some people, you know, don't like it as much. And it's just part of our most of our games. But at the same time, we've developed this feature to allow you to copy bid lists across leagues. So, um, you know, it just it's going to save you probably 75% of the time. If you do, if you have more than 10 fab leagues, I'll guarantee this will save you 50 to 75% of the time it used to take because you can just, you know, you build from kind of your shallow or your earliest into deeper teams uh, perfectly because there's, you know, there's each league is different, random guys available, but it'll, it, it takes care of 85 to 90% of the guys that you want in each league any week you want to do it. Um, so it's, it's just, it's huge. We're going to show you how to do it. And uh, time, uh, me being the professor, I'll give you a lesson in time traveling and porting and changing shirts. <laughs> Absolutely. Again, you're going to save a lot of time. You're going to love this list. So go change your shirt, change your location. Let's dive right into the copy uh, bids list right now. So this was on your, again, your my teams, the gear icon, yep. know that. So let's talk about the copy bids yep. feature. All right. So we're back into my teams page. Now, again, some, some, some leagues will have fab. Some leagues will not. Obviously, any draft champions, you know, NFC 25s or whatever, stuff like that, don't have fab. So they actually won't show up on the list or whatever. Now, I do realize there are some cut lines and stuff in here. This is development. So we're really going to be looking at the top four leagues here. Uh, football, Jokum, 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 Superflex 8, Superflex 10, Superflex 13, Superflex 14. Those are the ones I kind of have set up for this uh for this and all these other ones, the drafts aren't completed. Again, just our development site, so just bear with us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend it's Wednesday night or whenever you're going to do your fab, right? Uh, Tuesday, whenever. Uh, we're going to go into the team. So I'm just going to the team I renamed football. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to transactions. Uh, you know, we're not going to set lineup. Lineup's already set, basically. We're going to go into the free agents. That's how you get into your fab room, if you will, your free agents room. Okay, so pretty standard stuff here. Over to the right is where you're going to do your stuff. Players are all over to the left. The blue tag over here is where you click on players, but that will also become green uh, if you're going to do conditional bids, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Over to the right here in the gray, I don't know if you can see those. Those are eyes. Those are actually our watch list. So if you uh, add people to a watch list, and that's been done on another video. I think we can show you that quick maybe at the end. But those will, if you have clicked somebody on a, a watch eye list, those will be lit up so that you can see them when you're in your draft room. And you're also able to pick uh, free, you can filter by your watch list right there if you can see that. So mm -hmm. if you had like only seven or eight guys on your watch list, if you filter on watch list, uh, I can actually probably do it from here. Like if I just put Ben Roethlisberger, I just clicked the eye over by Roethlisberger. So now if I fix on watch list, technically Roth see Roethlisberger would be the only one to show up. So if some guys do like to use that watch list stuff, I don't really use it, but uh, you know, it's, it's good for some guys. If you only want to keep an eye on 10, 11, 12 guys, if you do yep. that and filter on that, those would be the only ones that would show up. So I'm going to, I want to take that off. I'm just going to undo that's it. So nice that's feature. I like it. Thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And that and those will, that'll go across leagues, not just uh, not just in league. So if I click on Roethlisberger there, any other league you have Roethlisberger in, he'll show up. It'll be the same thing. So you can nice. do you can do that from there. Okay. So let's just build a list. The easiest. I'm just going to show you how to build a list first. Um, again, pretty standard, but a lot of people maybe first time they've done it. So let's build these drafts. These drafts were done back in February, so you're going to see some names that uh, probably wouldn't be available in most of your leagues. Don't the names aren't important. It's it's the oh. that we're working here. I'm gonna I'm on Brady, okay? Uh, so that's my that's my pick right now. You're seeing a bid of one dollar. That's the audit bid. Every bid has to be a dollar. We don't have zero bid. If I wanted to change that for whatever reason, let's say I want to bid nine bucks on Tom, I change it there. I go up to the save button. I hit save. Okay. So it didn't allow me to save the feature because it's showing right here that the list can't be empty. So I cannot save a list that does not have a drop player, which is a good feature. That won't allow you to save. You wouldn't be able to get anybody on this because you cannot, cannot pick somebody up if you don't have it. 
drop. So we'll fix that easy enough. We'll to do that. You just click over here on the drop where it's a change player drop green changes. It shows you your roster and Matt Corral would seem like an obvious drop if I'm trying to pick <laughs> up Tom Brady. So we'll go with that. Okay. So easy enough, right? You know what I mean? Yep. Right. Okay. So now we have Tom Brady. Now I'm going to talk about conditional bids. So you're going to build, we want, let's say, you know, for sure you're wanting to get rid of Matt Corral and you know, you got two quarterbacks in mind and then maybe something else. I'll show you that. So, all right. So what you're going to do is come over to the right here. There's a blue, looks like a little blue robot with a plus sign next to it. I hope you can see it says add conditional bid. Now I'm going to click on that. Yep. So now you notice how that turned into like a red X. I call, I call it the conch, kind of like the Lord of the Flies thing. The conch, it's kind of in control of everything right now. So if you notice, we'll go back over and we'll grab some guys over here. Notice now that these tags have changed from blue to green. That means they're now going to add under Tom Brady as I click them. And they will click on in the order I do. So let's just say... Okay, Daniel Jones likes looks like a good ad, you know, underneath Brady. But those are really the only two quarterbacks that I want. So maybe I want a couple of wide receivers just for shits and giggles. So I click over to the wide receiver tab, and you can do all there's you know there's all positions. I'm just going to show you that you can move to all receivers, and let's get a couple of uh, wide receivers that would probably start on the Packers at this point. So let's hey, go with stop it. Let's go with uh, Jakeem Grant. No, he would not. So I just clicked on him. It just showed you this thing. So you click, come over here. You click, click the green tag. Okay. Notice he populates over and under Daniel Jones. And then we'll go uh, Isaiah Ford. Okay. So just two random wide receivers. I'm having a little fun with that. Okay. Now we notice we got our list. Um, Brady's still in the list. Got the conch. Uh, notice how, because Brady was nine, anybody that came in him, came underneath him was also nine at that point. Now, a lot of people will build their list just from ones, right? So if I had not changed that, I'm going to change it back to one. Notice I'm going to show you the waterfall bid right now. And a lot of people aren't necessarily sure what this is for. Again, this, this conch right here, the red circle is controlling everything. I now have a one in Tom Brady's bid. If I hit the waterfall, that one bid is now going to go all the way down to Daniel Jones, Jakeem Grant, and Isaiah Ford. Okay? Simple enough. That's an easy way to control it. And you can do that from anywhere. So if I did it from, you know, let's say I did it from Daniel Jones, and all of a sudden I wanted to go up to four. I can change the conch over to Daniel Jones, put my cursor back in his box, hit the waterfall, and notice now how all those guys are four. Okay, so I'm going to go up, put Brady back at nine. Uh, let's make Daniel Jones seven and keep the other two at four for him. Now, I'm going to show you the drag and drop feature. I'm going to close the conch there. Let's say I take Jakeem Grant, and over here, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but to the left, there's yep. three bars. Yep. If I drag Grant up through Jones... He's going to change into number seven because he went above a seven dollar player, and our bids have to be you know high to low. You can't you can't have a nine dollar bid on Brady and a twenty seven dollar bid on Jakeem Grant and nineteen on Daniel Jones. The higher bid has to be first. That's the way it runs. You know, it runs in our fab system. So that's just a good way to do it. Now, if I want Jakeem Grant to be back to four, I got to run him back through Isaiah Ford. He'll go back to four. I can still move him back up to four, over four. He'd still stay four. So just a way to drag and drop, you know, drag and drop guys move around, be cognizant of that. I think most people know that. Again, if you don't, there's a little tutorial here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my list again, okay? So now I have a great bit bid list saved. Uh, real quick, let's say you wanted to drop two guys, okay? So what I'm going to do, I like my bid list. I really like my bid list. So I'm going to come over here to the blue tag in the green header where it says copy claim list. I'm going to click it, and then it just populates down. What I'm going to do is just close this one for a minute so that the other one pulls up higher. I've got the same bid list. OK, now you don't. So what you're going to have to do, though, is obviously change the Matt Corral as the drop because you can't drop the same player twice. So the easiest thing to do there is you click in the top one, come down and just OK, as been Ritter. OK, so got rid of that. We come back. We see that the drop player has now changed to Desmond Ritter. Anything else you can do? I'm kind of an animal guy, so I would move the Brady big because I know if I got Brady, I would have gotten the first one. I can remove him for that one. And then I have the rest set up. Same prices. You can do the same drag drop, whatever. Okay? Okay, so that was that. I'm just going to go ahead and erase the second claim list. I just wanted to show everyone that. You do that by hitting the garbage can in the header. Removes the claim list. Perfect. Okay, I want to open my claim list back up. Greg, everything seemed good so far? Absolutely. We can see the cursor and everything. So it makes sense. Okay. Very easy to copy that bid list and make a second copy list yep. and uh, cut a player, different player. All right, easy. so now for, the, now for the prime ribs. There we go. Let's get, yep, this is what everyone came for. Okay, so let me say the caveat first is I have one claim list on this page. 
if I had multiple claim lists, and maybe not a biggest deal for football, for baseball, a lot of guys do pitcher lists and you know hitter lists or middle infield, corner field. Football, you can obviously do that by position, but I, I think that there's less tendency to do that so much. Um, but any bid list, if I copied over bid lists from one league to another league, at this point, it did, uh, does still copy all the bid lists that you have. So if you're going to do copy bid lists and you know you might have more than one, but you don't want to necessarily copy them all over, you're going to have to do them one at a time. So here's what we're going to do. This is how you, I have my bid list up here above, and here's how much fab dollars I have left. I think everyone knows that. It shows everyone's been there. Default Sears shows that I have a thousand left, which makes sense. All of our fab leagues start with a thousand. Right above that is a new feature that was not there last year, is there for baseball. It says pending fab. Um, that's how you can get to pending fab. I also want to show you just real quick that it was, this is where it's always been transactions pending fab. And this is a huge page for a number of reasons. Once we get on it, I'll talk about it more. But you can do it from there, but it's just easier probably to do it from here so you don't have to scroll up and do it. So I'm going to hit the pending fab above the above the fab there. And look at, because I had not gone back and saved, and I did that on purpose, because I had not resaved my claim list, it, it'll ask me if I want to leave page, and I won't have a saved list. So I'm going to stay on the page till I go back and save it. Now it's done. Back to pending fab. All right. Now I'm on a page. So at this point, this pending fab page is going to be showing you all the leagues that you can do fab in and all the and all the fab lists that you currently have saved. Now, I only have one uh, that we had just done, the Brady Jones Grant Ford list. So here's we go. I want to copy this. I want, I want these guys in all my leagues. Let's say this is my, my list. I'm confident these guys are. Here's what I want to do. All right. So right above here, uh, there's a fab page. And if I click that, it would go right back to this league's fab page. So that's where we just came from. They can go right back there. Now I'm going to copy bids. I hit the copy bids button. I get this in front of me. So it's going from my Superflex League 8. It's going to give me all the options of the other leagues. So the three leagues that are in play here are the Superflex 10, the Superflex 13, and the Superflex 14. I'm going to click. And right now, you can only do one league at a time. Uh, when we built it, that's the way we felt confident doing it year one year two might be a different story but now you have you do have to click each league that you want to copy to so i'm going to click okay. the super flex 10 and hit copy now we'll come back Just like that now here's <laughs> this is going to be a good example all these guys all these guys were available in league 10 as well so you're going to see the exact same list brady jones grant ford same prices okay oh i'm To 13, I copy. Okay, here's what we're going to want to see. Now, I'm going to scroll down in a minute, but I want to show you this first. When you copy this bid list, it tells you the following players cannot be copied over because they're they're not free agents in your league. So Brady, Ford, and Grant in that in that next league are not free agents. So as I scroll down here and show you this on the pending fab page now, notice you only see Daniel Jones. Yeah. And that's that that. And also, I want to point out on the two lists we copied, no player selected, right? So. Eventually, we're going to have to go back into these leagues and select a player to drop uh, yeah. so that these are actual legal drop lists. And this was the big hook, kicker that took us the 18 months to figure out how to copy over and not carry the drop guy, Matt Carell, obviously, in this case, from the first league over, because it's very likely you're not going to have the same guys to drop in every single solitary league. Now, you might have right. them in many leagues, but in any event, it's not going to show up here. So you are eventually going to have to go back uh, and do that. So one more league, I'm going to go back, copy you into this fi right, fourth and Just final think league. about how much time you've saved oh by God. not looking up those four guys in 18 different leagues, right? Yep. You know, that's the time saver there. And then the software tells you they're not available, so they just eliminate them from that list. So it just saves the time, so the time much is huge, time. And we'll talk about that more at the end, I think. I just want to get through yeah. this. But uh, yeah, for cut lines where you're building lists of 100 or 150 deep, you do one list and just keep copying, right? It's, it yeah. makes it so much slicker. Right. Um, so I'm going to copy into the four. Okay, so that that's kind of the, the how you copy bids. And like Greg, as Greg was saying, um, the times you save on not having to do this in each and every league can be crazy. I mean, Jason Cuss is one of our biggest cut line baseball players. Uh, he used to spend, you know, 30 to 40 hours each cut line period on his teams where he has 20 to 30 teams. He said this year he was able to slash that, you know, by 75% took them 10 hours or, or less. Um, so it just, it, the time is going to save you to allow you to do multiple teams if you want, or just give you the time back. I think it's more important to do other things, spend it with your family, go to your kid's game, not have to have your, be on your phone or on your, on your computer. Yep. Greg, one, a little bit, I, I hope I'm not cutting out too much here. No, just a little bit on that last bit, but it was perfect. Again, this is a time saver for you, but just imagine 
before every single league, you had to go in and find Tom Brady, right? Okay, there, I added him. Now I got to find this guy. I got to add him. And he just kept doing that. This is just one click. It's all there. And then the software will tell you if they're not available, they just eliminate them. Now, again, you have to go into each league and cut a different player, most likely. But that's the easy part. That's the very easy part. So this should save you an awful lot of time, and a lot of headache. It'll allow you to do more leagues, and you'll win more money. Anything else, Derek? And real quick, let's just show the process of going into those leagues. So I'm still on the pending fab page. Okay. I'm going to go over to the right of League yep. 10 here. Click fab page. Click the fab page. Brings me back into the room. Now, up here it says no changes. This is not actually a legal saved list at this time. So I'm going to need to drop somebody. Come over here. It doesn't matter. Pull down. Okay, uh, Raheem Mostert. He goes up, he populates. Now I can come back. Now it gives me sort save, hit save. Now I have a save claim list and it'd be good to go for fab. Right. So a little extra step, but uh, you saved it and you cut the right guy. And again, you're going to. And then again, you're going to want to come back into these leagues because, right. you know, I built from, you know, I built from list eight, but that doesn't mean there weren't, you know, some better players in league 10 or league 13. Uh, you're going to want to go into those leagues and check to see who's available there. But uh, again, my advice on this is, you know, at least on the first half, build from your earliest and shallowest teams first. So a cut line or, you know, a 12 team satellite or rotowire that you drafted in May likely going to have better free agents you know once you know once injuries have happened and all that kind of stuff so that's my advice at least first build shallow to deep and you, you you'll i think you'll cut some time that way as well absolutely all right so go back up to the transactions page because that's where the pending fab is the fab is right just again pending fab we put it on a separate page pending fab where you can do all of this uh but yep, again there's go fab results that. my fab results it's all right there okay I'm, and i and I went back onto the pending fab page because I do think it's that important of a page. Now, right. again, you need to check this before you're done with your fab for the day, where you feel you're done, yeah. because it shows all your bid lists and all your bids. And let's say you had a $300 bid on this first one on Tom Brady, and you didn't. It was, maybe it was supposed to be 30, but yeah. you accidentally clicked another zero, didn't catch it before. You'll see it on here, and that that's the way you're able to catch mistakes. Or it's it's also good when you've built multiple lists in the league to be able to see who your drop players are over here, right? Right. Maybe you maybe you copied a bid list but forgot to change the second player, right? So you would only actually get one guy because you can't drop the same guy twice on different bid lists. So that I think a very important page. So I stress and I'm I am surprised how many of our even of our longtime vets even exist. So please, please, right. please use this page. Correct. Pending fab page under transactions. Check that out. All right. So that's your tutorial for today. We hope it, again, allows you to play more teams and wins more money and saves a lot of time. That's the key. Right, Derek? So we thank you very much, Professor Derek, and enjoy the sunshine there in Minnesota. And everybody, watch this over, learn from it, and save some time and win some big money. All right? Thanks, everyone. We'll talk to you later.